Hey, 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 good looking. I'm so glad that you came to my kitchen today to sit there and see what we all have cooking. Grab a hold of that vine, swing right on in my kitchen, and let's get cooking. Good looking. Hey there, good looking. I'm so glad that you came to my kitchen today because I have a question for you. What would you sit there and say if I told you, you can can Alfredo sauce. I know. What? That's right. I'm going to sit there and show you how you all can can up your very own Alfredo sauce. So, let's get cooking. Good looking. First, let me apologize for the sound in the background, but that's my dehydrator going. Um, that's another video that we are in the making of right now. So, I'm going to apologize for that sound that you're hearing in the background. So, we're going to sit there and jump right on in into our Alfredo sauce. Now before we even begin, go grab your pressure canners and get it all prepped up and ready to get canning. Go ahead, grab yourself a large saucepan like I have here. And I also have a spatula for stirring it all up. So, what you're going to sit there and do over low heat we're going to sit there combine the butter here now i'm going to sit there chunk it up first before i throw it all into my pan that way it helps in the melting process of the butter and then i'm going to take one quart of the milk here and we're going to add that to the saucepan as well so let's go ahead and add the butter. Okay, I chunked some up. So I'm just gonna throw the chunks of cubed up butter right into our saucepan. Okay, as you see, I have all of our butter all cut up in our large saucepan. We're gonna sit there and add one quart of milk so I'm gonna just move this so it's easier for me to pour because I'm working around the camera We're going to take the saucepan that we have, the butter and the milk, and we're going to put it over low heat, and we're just going to melt the butter. Now, while we're waiting for the milk and the butter to come together, or basically for the butter to melt, we're going to sit there, take the cream cheese, I'm going to open it up, and we're going to sit there and cut it all up into nice little cubes. That way, it makes everything melt a lot easier. Hey, who cut the cheese? <laughs> I'm sorry, I could not resist that little butt. With all joking aside, <laughs> But really, who got the cheese? We're going to sit there and wait for our butter to melt into the milk. And then we're going to sit there and add a little bit of the cheese at, the, at a time. As you see, our butter is melted real nice. Now, I'm going to sit there and add a little bit of the Philadelphia cream cheese and I want you to add a little bit 
at a time until all the cream cheese is melted. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to grab my cream cheese. I can say add a little bit at a time. Let that all melt until it's all mixed in with the butter and the milk. And we'll be back as soon as all the cream cheese has melted. You're going to keep stirring until all that cream cheese is melted. As you see, we're getting real close to having all that cream cheese melted. Keep stirring though. Okay, as we're getting real close, I got to realizing I don't have a big enough pan. So I'm gonna have to switch over to a larger pan. So when you see this from after this point on, it's because I have to add another quart of milk and there's not enough room in this pan for the milk or for the Parmesan cheese that we need to add. So I'm gonna grab another larger pan and we're gonna place all this bad boy into our larger pan. As you see, I switched out to a larger pan. Now, I'm just going to go over and grab the other quart of milk that we need, and I'm just going to add it right into this larger pan with all the butter, the milk, and the cream cheese here. Let's add the milk. Ooh, you see what I mean? We're getting close to filling up this pan too. We still have the Parmesan cheese yet to go. Now is a good time also to add the five teaspoons of garlic powder and the one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. So I'm gonna sit there and start adding the powdered garlic. Okay, I gotta grab the pepper. There's the pepper. Now let's stir this all up. So the garlic powder and the pepper mix all into the butter, the milk, and the cream cheese. Remember these are all there's a flavor that we're going to be savoring. Mm -mm. Now will be a great time to be adding our Parmesan cheese. Now, just remember, you're going to want to add a little bit of the Parmesan cheese at a time. And we're going to stir in between each addition of the Parmesan cheese. And keep stirring. We're going to stir until all the Parmesan cheese has melted. Ah, oh, look at how beautiful this Alfredo sauce is coming together. Mmm. -hmm. Yum, yum. Now, you all may think that this is awful thin, but let me tell you, as it's uh, being processed in the jars and such, it's going to thicken. So, pretty soon we're going to be going back over to the counter and it's time to ladle this gorgeous Alfredo sauce up into some canning jars 
and we're off to the pressure canner and we're gonna can them. Do you see what I see? Look at all that luscious Alfredo sauce. So I'll see you back over at the counter. Good looking. Here we are back over at the counter. Before I bring the Alfredo sauce over, be sure to get yourself out a ladle, a funnel, your canning uh, jar lifter, deep bubbler, paper toweling, and a little container with some vinegar in it. Now I'm just going to set these all off to the side and I'm going to bring the Alfredo sauce right over. Here is our sauce. And now before I go any further, I just want to sit there and say this happens to be my middle child's most favorite thing of all. He loves Alfredo sauce. So Nico, this one's for you, baby. Mama loves you. Now I have my ladle and we're gonna ladle it into our canning jars. And you're gonna wanna come up, I don't know if it's catching, but right up to the very last run. So, Keep that in mind when you're sitting there ladling, ladling the Alfredo sauce into, now I'm putting mine into half pints because it's just my husband and myself and it would be a side dish for us. So we really don't need that much. And also I don't like having any leftovers that meet Mr. Garbage Camp. So, it's right up to the point where I want it to be. We're gonna go on to our next one. We're gonna set this off to the side. Make a little bit of room. And now we're going to repeat all the way up to this bottom rung. And like I say, I know it seems really saucy and soupy right now, but trust me, it thickens up inside the jar during the processing. So I'm going to continue filling up all of my jars. I got 10 half pints, which is perfect for my husband and myself. Now, my husband caught wind of what I was making and I promised him that we would sit there and have some of this Alfredo sauce for supper. So I had to leave some off into the pan over here so we can have some Alfredo. Now take your paper toweling and run it across each one of these Alfredo jars. We're gonna grab our canning lids and our canning rings. Okay, I have our canning lids. Let's just go ahead, place our canning lids onto each one of the half pint jars. And then we're gonna sit there and grab the canning rings and we're gonna finger tighten the canning rings onto the jars. Now I should have told you before we put the 
canning lids on and before we wipe the rings. If you want to go ahead and debubble, go right on ahead. But I didn't choose to debubble because it's mostly liquid that's going inside of these jars. So you do what's comfortable for you. If you want to go ahead and debubble, go right on ahead and debubble. But now let's put our canning rings on. And remember, I said finger tighten. And oh yeah, anybody who knows me knows I like to label my jars before I put them into the pressure canners or into the water bath canners. So I'm gonna finish labeling my jars here and then we're gonna be putting them into the pressure canner. Okay, now if you can jars in pints or in half pints, you're going to sit there and can this up for five minutes at 10 pounds of pressure. So place these inside of your pressure canner, lock your lid on. Vent for 10 minutes, that's very important. Do not sit there and skip the venting time at all. Do the full 10 minutes. Put your 10 pound weight on, or you're gonna wanna sit there and put the proper pressure for your added or attitude. What is with me lately? Altitude. <laughs> My husband's in there laughing at me. For your altitude. My altitude, I can't at 10 pounds of pressure. So we're gonna be canning these up at 10 pounds of pressure. You do your proper pressure for your area and you're gonna do it for five minutes. Here they are, all inside of my All-American canner. Now I'm going to lock the lid on and we're going to vent this for 10 minutes. Then we're going to put our 10 pound weight on and we're going to process these for five minutes at the 10 pound weight. I told you that you could make your very own Alfredo sauce and can it too. So if you really liked what you saw here today, give me a thumbs up. All the thumbs up helps out my channel greatly and I greatly appreciate it. Now if you're not yet a subscriber, go up, tap that subscribe button, tap that little bell. That way you always be notified every time I do put out a new video. And as always, here's to happy canning, but better yet, happy eating. Y'all come back now, you hear?